Hello? How are you doing? I'm good. I've got my coat on still because uh, well, Matt, Jack and Annie, they were in a hole, but the sorcerer helped them out with the woolly mammoth, Lulu. The sorcerer gave Jack and Annie a gift. Do you remember what it was? Yes, it was a mammoth. This is chapter 8, and we have three chapters left, and the woolly mammoth's going to the treehouse. Let's see what happens next. The huge mammoth walked across the open plain. Look, said Annie. She pointed to a herd of elk in the distance. They had great, wide antlers. There, said Jack, as a herd of reindeer came into view. They pranced gracefully across the snow. Then a woolly rhino joined them on the open plain. Then a bison. Oh, the great parade. There's a bunch of animals walking together. The elk, reindeer, rhino, and bison moved along with them at a distance. They seemed to be escorting Jack and Annie back to the treehouse. The snow sparkled with sunlight. This is a great parade, Jack thought. Fantastic. They were getting closer and closer to the grove of trees. I told you, said Annie. Lulu's taking us home. But just then, the mammoth let out a cry. All the other animals bounded off. Peanut started to squeak. Jack looked around. Behind them, the saber tooth was slinking across the sunlit snow. Uh-oh. He finally saw them. The woolly mammoth roared and plunged forward. Jack and Annie nearly fell off. Jack clutched Annie. She and Peanut clutched the mammoth's shaggy hair. The mammoth thundered wildly over the ground. Ah! Jack and Annie yelled. The mammoth charged to the grove of trees, but the tiger had circled around the trees. He stood between the tallest tree and the mammoth. They were trapped. The saber tooth began moving slowly toward the mammoth. The woolly mammoth roared fiercely. But Jack knew a saber tooth could kill any creature including a mammoth. The huge tiger's head was down. His burning eyes were fixed on the mammoth. His long white fangs glinted in the sunlight. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Oh, oh. And that's the end of chapter 8. You are going to have to come back t for sure next time because I don't know what's going to happen. I really want to read chapter 9, but but I can't. You're just going to have to be patient and come back next time to find out what happens to Jack and Annie and the woolly mammoth, Lulu, and the saber.